Hello and welcome to Aggressors Ancient Rome. This is a 4X strategy empire building game being developed by Kubot Software and published by Slytherin. Came out a few months ago on Steam and I thought we should take a look at this one. It's a very civ a civilization style of uh, turn-based strategy where this one's focused more towards, well, obviously, ancient Rome. Uh, the main scenario here is the Mediterranean. You can play as Rome or Carthage or the Celts or uh, the Germans or the Gauls, in all the tribes sort of in that time period. And uh, However, the one thing about this one is it's very customizable. Uh, it comes with a map editor, so you can change whatever maps you want, and there's also uh, several maps that have been put up on the Steam Workshop, so you can pick all kinds of different scenarios if you wish to not play the old Roman scenario. You can also play as a customized world, which is sort of just a random map, which we're going to do today, because well, I think this shows off the game best. So, first off, who are we going to be? Now, this is a very important decision, because each of these tribes sort of have... Um, a focus or a, uh, a land mass that they like. So, for instance, we choose Rome. They like fighting in the trees and in the forests. If we choose someone like uh, like the Ptolemaic, the uh, the Egyptians here, they're more about fighting in the deserts and the plains and the, and the flatlands. They don't do trees. They do flatlands. So, um, I, I think we'll, we'll try Egypt, sir. That's fine. Um, map size, we can go all the way up to huge. We'll stick with a sanitized map. This is all very civilization style, of course. Uh, map climate. Now, again, map climate actually we could sort of sway things in our favor. We choose the barren land. It's going to be more in our style because we don't do trees. We we don't like trees. We like flatlands as uh, as Egypt here. Um, and uh, we can also choose how many people we're going to have in the game. It doesn't actually put a number on it. It just chooses how many. We'll do populace. So maybe we'll find somebody soon. And difficulty medium is fine. Um, and development civilized. So this is how, like our starting our starting sit, uh, setup here. We can go with undeveloped, we're just basically just a settler. Uh, barbarian, I think we've got us, we just got a few uh, folks we have civilized. We start with uh, with towns already and and some iron mines and things like that already, some roads built, develop a little more and a little more than that. Let's go with civilized so we can get an idea, uh, maybe give us a bit of a jump start so we can get see what's happening here. Uh, the game starting turn, I don't know what this matters. The game might end at 580. I'm not entirely sure, but you can choose wherever you want to start. Typically, it starts around 400 BC, I think, is a typical starting spot. Whatever, we'll leave for how it is. Turn length is also something I'm not sure what it does. Um, now, again, we can change all the game speed, the uh, player advantage, or how balanced it is, if there's independence in the game, um, if there's resources, and even more. We can army morale, lo uh, loyalties, and, uh, and random events. We're going to leave it all on so we can see all this. So, very, uh, very civilization style, turn-based strategy. We're going to have a town here. We'll hopefully have a settler. Uh, and we'll go out and settle the land and conquer the world, if everything goes as planned. I somehow missed this one when it first came out uh, on Steam. Usually, I keep my eye on the strategy games. I don't know how I missed this one. We should remedy that today. Okay, so, uh, Plax, Pax Lulia, Lulili, Pax Lulia <laughs> is my town. Can I change the name of that? Pax Lulia. I can. We're going to call it Pax. Okay. Pax is the name of my town. And in this town, you can see it's very small. Only 7.4 available citizens. These are the folks that are uh, of age, ready to go out and work. Um, we have more people than that. Of course, we've got... Well, we can't see here. We can see it here. We've got a population of 74,000 people here. But they're all old or women or children. They don't do the, uh, the work outside the town. Um, it's a size 2 town. It now controls these squares out here. So what that means is it's bringing in, it kind of does it automatically. You don't actually, you can build improvements, but you don't actually work it like a sieve game. Um, where, like, it brings in one food and, and six wood, or a little bit of wood. One food. This has got in a little bit of food as well. We also have these, uh, uh, a gold mine up here. And there's a coal mine down this way, which are connected to roads, so they're bringing in some resources. This one is also ours. You can see our territory. Uh, kind of see our territory borders here. We have the blue. It's right in here. Because it's in our territory, we we do have a mine there already, so we're getting some, some iron, but there's no road to it, so it's not coming in quite as quickly. Um, and we can use our settlers, who's right here, to go and, and help us out a little bit. Um, all the resources, of course, are up here. We've got roll, gold and coal and all that as well. We've got uh, happiness is, is, is okay. Influence, research, we'll see that in a minute. Um, let's go look at this screen. So, this is the state screen. Um... First thing we want to do is we want more people. So we're going to crank up the birth rate. So basically what's going to telling our people, go make babies. Don't worry about working in the field so much. So they're going to be busy doing other things rather than bringing in resources. So it's going to hurt our income and things, but it'll help get its population. Um, we have met no one. We're here by ourselves. Uh, we have trade overview. Nothing there yet because there's no trade going on. We are a monarchy at the moment. 
Uh, and you can see what it does if we want to go back down to despotism. It hurts us, of course. Um, now, of course, if we start this game up, well, we'll look at research here. We start up as, as like the barbarian or primitive start. We get only things like the really basic stuff, making a town. We can eventually now, the um, that the brown color are ones we already have. So we have temples, we have settlers, we have we have uh, peltists. This is a different. I haven't played these guys before, so some of this stuff is different. And the tech tree changes each time you play, as far as I understand. So right now, um, we are up to this point. We know what shipbuilding, astrology, and writing school is. We know how to make cavalry and things. We don't know what blacksmiths or patriots are yet. We're working on that. Once we get enough tech, we can see we need uh, eight more, the green bottles there, to get foraging. Um, and same thing for city defense. Once we get that, it'll lead us into the next one. Now you can see we don't know anything else here. It's going to be kind of randomized a bit leading up to our new tech. So it's and that's something that changes each game. So we, we don't quite know what we're... We don't, we don't know what gunpowder is yet, so we can't figure out how to beeline our tech to it. Um, let's see. In town here, we have a couple different options. We can make ourselves a new settler or a new nomad. Now, making this settler, which we want, is going to cost us 10 free population. We don't have enough. And gold, which we do have enough gold. Um, settlers are kind of like a settler and a worker combined. He makes cities, roads, bridges, farms. Uh, the nomads can fight and build cities. Um, we can also learn new specializations, so you can see we don't know how to make cavalry, but we can learn how to make cavalry, or these, these, uh, basically, you know, the good fighting morale. We'll see morale in a bit. Um, utilize for combat on even terrain, so there we go. Good performance on flat terrains, that's what we're focused on. If you pick Rome, they like fighting in the woods. Um, so, uh, like, we, if we wanted to learn how to make a cavalry, we could do it. We could spend some cash and learn how to make it, then we can go build it later on. Uh, we can also improve our town a bit more by helping the defense or the trade. We're just going to take huh? this guy here, who's uh, questioning me, um, and we can walk. You know, we can see where we can walk here. We got the blue tiles. We can go build new towns if we wish. I'm gonna go um, over. This is plains. This is plains with a river. I'm gonna go here with the river. March over this way. I'm gonna tell him to. Well, next turn, pass a turn here. I'm gonna tell him to start building some fields, and we'll see how this is gonna affect us. So we look at this now. We can see I'm bringing one food and a little bit of wood. Huh? But if I tell him to build a field, it's going to cost me a little bit of cash. Um, we can build a field. We can build a road. Let's just build a field. So the next turn, we'll get some more food out of that place. We're going to build food all around here. Now, this town right now, oh, it actually increased already. You saw before it was just the cross. It's always containing. Now, it has grown because of people. And now it owns all this. So it's bringing in more food, more people, which is excellent. Uh, I still can't really do much, so I'm just going to pass the turn. Let's take a look at our map here. So we don't really see much. If you play on one of the scenarios... I think you start you start with just knowing your lands, but of course it's like Europe or whatever. I saw there's like a, there's a U.S. Um, scenario. There's one I think there's like a Gaul scenario. There's one in England. Lots of new maps that are on the Steam page. Okay, so the uh, the farm is done. So we can see packs here. Now it's giving me two food because no and no wood because we now have a a farm basically here. We don't have to work it. He just makes it and it does it. Um, let's go march our way because if this is a swamp, we could drain that swamp. Let's go over here though. And do the same thing before and kind of get these all cleaned up. I think what we kind of want to focus on is getting a town built rather quickly. Uh, we can build one, just crank one out up here just to get uh, more people coming in. Now we got to kind of keep an eye on our um, wood stockpile has been found. Hey, we found wood just laying around. Excellent. Uh, we got to keep an eye on our, our uh, population growth because everyone's busy making babies and they are not making iron and coal and all that. So we got to kind of maybe maybe bump down just a little bit. We'll slowly move that down so we can keep an eye on everything. Okay, so there's two. Um, I'm happy with that. Now, I don't have a road built over here, so we could throw a road connecting to this one to help us out a bit as far as how much iron comes in. I think this is bringing 1.3, this is bringing 1.6, this is bringing 1.6. So yeah, it's it's not quite, it's only bringing a 1. So it's not quite as great as it could be with a road. Um, I'm actually going to go and build a town, though. I'm going to put it... Now, I don't know... I haven't played this game enough to know, like, the best spots for towns. I believe the towns eventually get to, like, the Fat Cross, um, like a sieve. You get the, um... Oh, well, maybe you don't. Um... Yeah, yeah, I think they do. So you're gonna, we're gonna go three more that way, three more that way, you just won't get the diagonals. I think, once they get really big, they will get that size. Now, if I come in here and I say, okay, I want you to now build me a, uh, another settler. It's gonna cost me ten people. This is gonna hurt. People will be mad about this. I'm gonna go ahead and do it, though. We're, we're down to 5.9 now. Because we've been making 
using those people to make um, settlers. Okay, I should have had to make a road back there. Um, I'm going to have you do that, buddy. So I want you to go and route to this one. Give me a road set up to that, that mine so we get some of that cranking in here. So now, um, I guess if you start the game on like barbarian mode, you have just a settler, and you have to come and claim these mines. But because we started to develop, we've already got that stuff all set up. And as do the other computers out there. Okay, we have enough technology. We've, we've got enough tech now. Which tech is based on, I think, number of people and happiness? Um, we're going to take... Blacksmith acts as a resource multiplier for mines in its vicinity. Yeah, we're going to do that. Let's learn that. Okay, so now the way these work... Um, we'll build these in just a minute. I want you... I think maybe this might be a good place for a town? Let's just go over here. This seems nice. Okay, we'll put it right there. Um, so, if we want to build a, an improvement... Um, I think I do it here. Improvement. So if we wanted to make, it'll, I think it'll come in here. I just, mm, let me see next turn. And the improvements we put out are actually not like within the town. We actually place them on the map somewhere. Um, let's see here. I want you to build a, a town. I do want you to build a town, actually. Let's go ahead and do that. Right there. Um, Opalum. Sure. Okay, new town. Hooray! Um, now, let's see here. I think I do it. I'm not entirely sure, actually. I, I built one. Oh, here it is. Build facility. Okay. I missed my button. Okay, so now we say we want to build a temple. Temple accelerates population growth in cities that are within three tile range. So we click on this. It costs me five people and some stone and some gold. We put it out here. and you, It just gets placed on the map somewhere, but anywhere within these green squares, it benefits. So if we put it here, it'll hit both these towns. So I'm going to put it like right here so it'll get both those towns. It hits Apollum and Parents. Right there. I'm start getting a temple set up. And basically just make people happy and helps the population growth. All right, Apollum is fine. We're going to leave it alone. Let's see if we can find, maybe we can meet some neighbors here. Hopefully. All right, I want you to go ahead and um, don't drain the area. I want you to build a route to, go ahead and go to the town. Give me a road set up there. Okay, we got 10.5. Excellent. I'm not sure if the temple if the temple needs a road or not. We'll see what happens if we get a road built to it. But he's gonna go ahead and finish up going there first. Temple is now finished, so we should get some nice bonuses having a temple around. Um, should be helping uh, that and helping happiness as well. Um, same thing. We just got or you know, the blacksmiths. We'll put that out and it'll help the mines in the area. So we're sort of building up over the whole land. Rather than just within the cities. With 23 people, we need to be using those people. So we're going to go ahead and actually make ourselves another... Well, we can go explore with a cavalry. Now, I'm going to make another uh, settler. Let's make him up so we get these towns fixed up. He's over here now. Once he gets that road done, we're going to have him do some some uh, riverbed draining and, uh, and farming. Because uh, this town what? is tiny. So it only has the small cross. So as soon as he's done there, we'll have him do something. We can go ahead and make more people. Um, yeah, let's do it. Okay, so we got a couple new settlers in. I am going to move this down. So, and there's nice tooltips over here. Everything, everything's a little bit off because I, I increased the size of the UI, so it helps with YouTube. But everything, uh, any questions are over here on the sides. There's all the victory conditions we can eventually do. Um, this is um, state decisions. We'll, I guess we will eventually get, I haven't got to this point yet, but we'll eventually get state decisions coming in. Um, my strategic window. Yes, we know what that one is. And we've got my resources also on the map. So, um, sir, I would like you to go... Um, okay, I'll take you. I would like you to go and give me some more farms, because I think we need food. Let's come over here. Give me a farm, please. Alright, next turn. Hopefully we can find somebody here before too long. Alright, that farm is done. We're going to go and... I'm going to come into this one. Get that farm come... Crank that farm in there. Now, this is a forest. This is a forest... You can see it on that, that tool tip there. Let's go down here. And I'm going to have you... You can chop the wood. We can... Uh, I think that's all we can do right now is chop the wood, right? Yeah. Just chop some wood down. It gives us some wood. Um, let's see what this place is doing for us. So it's giving me 
0.18 wood just for being there. We're going to chop it all down. Okay. Within these towns, uh, we can come in here. I guess this one... No, not you. Not you, buddy. I want the town. Uh, we can come in and we can get boats and maybe do some ex exploration if we had cash. But we're broke right now. Well, how's our cash looking? Um, we're gaining cash. Just slowly. I think we're a little broke because we were too busy making babies rather than making money. Tell me about it. Okay, let's build. Um, so we have now... You can chop more wood? Oh. Um... Yeah, let's uh, let's chop more wood. Keep chopping, buddy. So it's no now it's finally not a forest anymore. Um, can you go? I'm not sure if this does anything. I'm gonna go ahead and try building a route to this temple and see what happens there. See if that actually helps us out. Happiness 89 terrain defense bonus. I don't think it's gonna help us any. We'll see. Ideally, we would get all of our land our, our land mines, all of our mines hooked up to roads. First off, Ooh, we know what a blacksmith is. Now, we, uh, we have learned a couple new things on our tech tree here. Where's our tech tree? So, we have unlocked philosophy. And... Looks like uh, marching camp. Was that in there before? Navigation is now in here. We know how to, where it's there. we got to figure out what to get done before we get to it. Um, so, yeah. So, the only thing we can actually get right now is the Patriot, which is like a defender. Okay, um, settler guy. Let's go and... Everything has a road, right? Everything there has a road. I'm tempted to just build a town up here. I'm not sure. I haven't quite figured this part of the game out yet. Whether it's... Whether I should just city spam and throw them wherever, or if there's a benefit to having them, like, near the mines. I'm not entirely sure. Um, I do want you to have a road built to this mine, though. Might as well. Uh, now this is cleared out. We can finally get a farm set up in here. So you start bringing some food in. We can see our food is right here. We are... Um, we are gaining, right? Surplus, lost, two turns back. Yeah, we are gaining food. Okay. We have so many people, though. It's probably going to start going down. Because we got a decent-sized town here. Um, I'm going to go and tell you to make me a boat. Let's make a boat. So this town now specializes in making boats. Well, it will in a minute. Okay, so that's taken care of. Um, let's go. I suppose we can clear out another one of these. This is a forest. This is a forest. I'm going to clear this one out because if I get attacked, I might need... Well, no, I fight, on, I fight bad on forests. Oh, there's another town right there. Who do we meet? Who's this? The Seleucids. Okay, let's go talk to them. Every time you meet somebody, they are immediately at war with you. So we can see. Now, here's where morale comes in. So, right now, our attitude with them is cordial. Friendly guys. We're at war, but it's friendly. Army morale is how we feel about them. My morale is a little bit a little bit not as good as theirs. We're not so happy about them. Our population is way better than theirs. Their economy is way better than mine. Um, yeah, we're broke. And they're much more powerful. And I'm bigger. We can say, hey, how about peace, friend? I'm going to kill you, go kill you, but how about some peace? Are we losing money? Um, let me... Let's see here. Let's see here. Um, last turn, minus 0.03. Last turn, surplus plus loss. Okay, so yeah, we gained a little bit, right? That's what it's trying to tell me. So yeah, we because we spent money on that boat. Um, okay, well, I don't want you really staying there then, because there's bad guys there. Um, you're building a road to that temple. Um, let's go scout out over here. Let's see what we can find over this way. Now, Pax, I think it's time we build a military unit. I think maybe we should specialize in a military unit. Can I afford that? No, I need trading. City makes more money than it consumes by increasing its population. Yeah, we want that. But I don't have the cash for it. Um, I don't think I have the cash for anything. No. So we're going to hold off, I suppose. So next turn. Let's see what these guys have to say. You uh, you want to be uh, friends? Rejected by Seleucids. Too soon to make decisions. Okay, I understand. I understand completely. We are slowly... Gaining cash. Um, let's see. I want you to keep on marching. March over here, buddy. Uh, yeah, you, you bummed about something, buddy? Nice coastal town. Now, I'm not totally sure that's a good place to put a town, but I'm going to put one there. Could sell you to make some cash. Um, let's see. 
These just make food. No money. This doesn't make any any money either. Just keep bringing in some wood. Um, I believe there's a way of trading it away once we get to um, well trading. Um, let's see. I want you to come over here. Let's see if you can start tearing that up. There's animals on the map like these uh, these buffalo here, and they just sort of roam around. They don't actually do anything. Okay. I'm gonna have you chop some wood. It costs money to chop wood. Hmm. It costs money to build roads too, doesn't it? Hmm. Okay, so that one's set up now. Nothing going on over here. I'm gonna have you. I'm gonna get. I'm gonna sell you. I think. Okay. Yes. Sell you. Next turn will be sold. Okay. Build a town. It's gonna cost me one gold, but I'm gonna do it. Uh, Italica. Yeah. Right there on the edge. Okay. Excellent. Just means more people. People are rather happy. Next turn, the gray guy's gonna go away. We'll have cash. And then now that we have cash, did you go away yet? I still don't have any cash, so I guess he's gonna go away next turn. Okay, one more turn. Oh, we got tech? Okay, um... Yeah, I'll take... How much is this gonna cost me? Cost me two gold. Um... For some city defense. I want it. Mm, but I need the cash. How much were these uh, these warriors? Nomads cost five, so we could do that. Let's do it. Build a nomad, and I'm also going to go get that tech. Maybe we should build the other guy. Just, I, I'm about to get um, research. I will take the city defense guy. Yeah, that guy. Okay. See how much he costs to make. I think we can just leave them in town here and defend things. Extra stones been like we got piles of stone just laying around. Okay. Um, I want you to go ahead and chop some wood while you're at it. You'll leave me with 2.5, but we are gaining wood, correct? Yes, we're gaining 0.83. If I can find like a mine somewhere, we have a gold mine up here. Nothing else really around here. Let me go scout a bit. Use a settler for a scout, sure. See if we can find another mine in our territory here. Uh, now, Apollomus, we're going to be getting me a, uh, a unit here. In time. Not just yet. There he is. Okay, come here, buddy. Why don't you come stand over here? Um, now, again, he, I believe... Where's his stats? Do I have stats for him? Uh, Semi-military unit. Limited strength. Can build cities. Tax two. Defends it to two. Nothing, nothing fancy. I can also learn to make... Uh, well, these guys are attack three, defend at three. These guys are much better. Nine bucks, though. So we're going to leave. We're going to keep on using our guy here. I'm just going just gonna to say hello. Okay. Hello. Let's see what they have to say. So now if we attack them, you can see equal chances. we got all kinds of numbers here. Um, my, my morale is below average. Uh, if we attack, our withdrawal chance is zero. Um, they also have a bonus def uh, at attacking, because we're in the forest, they're in the forest. We could try it. Um, I mean, we could try it. Let's try it. So there's no army in there, but we're just fighting, like, the, the I guess, the town militia. So we did get away. We, there was a draw. We lost 941 people. We killed 714 of them. Um, morale hard, take a bit of a hit. We need some experience, though. Okay. Come down here. Nothing else on there? Nothing down there. Hey, it's a boat. The Seleucids. That, that's the same people. Um, Alright, let's go look over here. That's a nothing there. So again, we have equal chances again. Fighting them. Um, one thing we could do is we can come in and we can like train these folks to learn how to fight back in, uh, in our town. Um, I can tell them to recover because he's a little bit hurt. Um... Let's uh, just self-heal. I don't want to spend any cash on you. Um, I think what we should maybe do... How much do these guys cost? Oh, I can't, I can't do it. I have to learn how to make them first. Nine gold to learn how to make these guys. Oh yeah, we're getting bigger. You can see our uh, our, our thing, our cross is, is growing. 
Um, let's see. So we got yeah, nine gold for that guy. We're ain't gonna be getting it anytime soon. Okay, we're just waiting for cash to come in. Oh, you know what we could, what we should do is we should go build an improvement, and get some trading. See what this does for us. Trading in four turns. Yes. Do you want trading as well? How much is it going to cost you? Do it. So we're gaining 0. 0.68. We'll see what happens. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I don't think so, buddy. I didn't know you had people on the boat. <laughs> Not very nice. Okay, Patriot has been learned. Excellent. We have 3.5. We're gaining 2. Point, uh, what's it? We're gaining what? We're not losing 2.23, are we? Last term resources, 5.7. We lost 2.3. We're now gaining 1.8. Okay, I understand. Hard to read numbers here. Uh, equal chances of fighting them. We can also come back and defend ourselves. No, we fight. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. He's a little banged up. You can see his, uh, his unit is draw. We lost 1,800. We killed 1,100 of them. There's 36,000 of them in there. We have 10,000 soldiers. So not really a, a helpful. Not good for us. Um, you know, we just build a town. One gold? Yeah. Nasus, sure. Okay. Um, now, this town, Apollum, has been damaged. So we can tell it... Well, it's working on trading right now. But we can tell it to repair itself uh, if we had the cash for it. And we weren't busy doing things. Um, oh, trading's not even here yet. Three turns. Okay. Let's see if we're alive in three turns. Some trading should come in. Do you want peace from the Seleucids? You know what? Um... Um... Peace with the salute. Do I want peace with you guys? Yeah, you know what? Sure. Sure. I know. It's cowardly. Let's trade. Uh, no trades ongoing right now. I'm not sure how to, how to do the trade. Because we can we can see this here. Um, I suppose we'll find out in time. Okay. Peace treaty has been sent. Uh, preparation for war. Yeah, thanks. Thanks for sending me that now. Uh, let me go march back into my town here. There you go. Just just hang out. Just, uh, why don't you just, uh, just heal up. And... Um, yeah, just do nothing there, buddy. But damn it, it's damaged, so it's not bringing in as much cash as it should be. Okay, I think it's all better now, though. There's the trade going in the, with them, so let's see what that means. Trade overview. So we're losing 4%, risk of robbery 1%. Sign a trade. I'm going to give you... Some stone. How about 24 stone? I want gold. How much gold are you going to give me for that? I don't know if that's a good deal or not. Where's the thing that says... Um... How many or so? That for 20 gold. Is that a good deal? Who knows? In negotiation. Sure. Perfect. All right, we need to call it a day here. So I'm gonna wait until my uh, well, my town's burning right now. It was rejected. Well, then make an offer. Plague is spread to Nisus for. Oh no. Yeah, this town down here that's surrounded by forests and kind of in a terrible place is having some problems. Uh, now this town here. Are you done with this thing yet? Emergency A. That's the button I've been looking for before. So we trading is now done. So we're now getting cash coming in. Right? Sure. Um, we want to get some emergency aid, spend some cash fixing this place up because it's broken and burning. Spend some of our cash to fix it up there. Um, we never made our blacksmith, which needs 10 gold, but it would also help like get our gold mine up and running. We want to have that in there. Anyway, we need to call it a day here. Thanks again for watching. Again, this is uh, Aggressor's Ancient Rome. It's been on theme for a little while. I'll put a link below and you can check it out. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.